Hello, in this video, I'm going to help you get started with MongoDB by downloading and installing MongoDB Community Server on Windows 7 operating system. In details, I will share with you briefly what is MongoDB and then download the setup program for MongoDB Community Server and install MongoDB on Windows 7 operating system. And I will show you how to start a local instance of a MongoDB database server and uh, run the Mongo shell program to connect to uh, the local instance of a MongoDB database server. So, what is MongoDB? You know, MongoDB is the leading, most popular NoSQL database. It stores uh, data differently than relational databases, such as JSON like documents, key value, Y column, graph. It provides flexible schemas. So using uh, MongoDB, developers can adapt with the changing requirements easily and quickly. And it can scale easily with large amounts of data and high user loads. And to get started with MongoDB, you can use the MongoDB Community Server uh, Edition, which is a free and open source and document database server. It is cross-platform, which means you can run MongoDB server on Linux. Mac or Windows, and in this video, I will guide you how to install MongoDB on Windows 7 operating system. Now, let's download the installer program for MongoDB. So, head to the home page of uh, MongoDB at uh, mongodb.com, and uh, under the software menu here, you can see community server here, and to install MongoDB database server on Windows 7. Uh, here in the available download section here, you need to choose the version uh, 4.2 and older uh, that uh, supports uh, Windows 7 platform Windows and uh, at this time is MSI so you can e easily install MongoDB and then click the download button here Okay, and it is uh, downloading uh, the setup program, installer program for MongoDB community server on Windows. Okay, the download has completed. And uh, click Start in folder. And this is the installer program for MongoDB on Windows 7 operating system. Know that you must download the version uh, 4.2 or older. The newest, newer version of MongoDB doesn't support Windows 7. And double click the downloaded file to launch the setup program for MongoDB. Click run. Here we go the setup program for MongoDB community server on Windows 7 64 bit. Click next. Click here to accept the terms. Next and choose the custom installation so we can uh, uh, adjust uh, the configurations you can change the uh, components to be installed change the uh, installation directory uh, here we install all the components and change the uh, installation directory i want to install mongodb on uh, the driver and i create a new folder Mongo. Or DB. Here. Okay. Click next. And uh, if uh, you want to run a MongoDB on localhost, locally, uh, you should install uh, the program MongoD. MongoD is a server program for MongoDB. You run as a network service is a click next and not this in this screen and check the option install MongoDB Compass because MongoDB Compass we cause uh, the installation stuck. MongoDB Compass is the official graphical user interface for MongoDB. And then if you want to install MongoDB Compass, you can install it uh, separately. Click next, install. And you can see it and uh, showing starting services uh, to run the MongoDB server as the Windows service. Uh, 
Uh, don't worry if you watch this error. Click uh, ignore. And then I will show you how to start a MongoD and uh, program MongoDB server uh, manually using command line. And click finish. So far, we have done the installation of MongoDB and database server on Windows 7. And to start MongoDB server, we need to create the default directory to store the data for MongoDB. So create a new uh, folder here. Uh, the name of the folder is uh, data. And uh, subfolder is DB. That's it. So uh, you need to create this folder in the root of the driver where you uh, install MongoDB and server. And now let's open the command prompt and I will show you how to start MongoDB uh, local instance of MongoDB server and change the current directory uh, to the directory where we uh, install the MongoDB server cd mongodb bin directory here and type the command mongod and you can see uh, MongoDB server is uh, up and uh, running and you can see the logging message in the console view here you can notice there are two warnings here the first warning access control is not enabled for the database and that means the server is running in unsecure mode uh, cleansed and connect to the server without providing uh, username and password and the second warning is that this server is bound to localhost. No problem. And uh, you should see this here. Listening on uh, the port number uh, 27017. Listening on 127.0.0.1 here. That means the MongoDB server is up and running and it is listening for uh, current request next i will show you how to uh, run the mongo shell command to connect to the local instance of mongodb server so we open another uh, windows command prompt here and change the current directory uh, to the installation directory of mongodb MongoDB bin directory here and to start a Mongo shell command just type uh, Mongo here and change to the D driver and type Mongo and you can see this is a MongoDB shell uh, program a command like clan uh, to uh, connect to a MongoDB server Now we can type some uh, commands here to test. For example, use uh, source uh, databases to list all the databases in the server. And you can see there are three default database names, admin, config, and local here. And you can uh, use the admin database and show the collections in the admin database here. Yeah. Yes, only collection system dot uh, version here. Yeah. So that's enough for you to get started with the MongoDB database uh, with the server program running here and uh, a command like client program running here. So far I have said with you what is the MongoDB or to download setup program for MongoDB and install MongoDB community server on Windows 7 operating system then how to start a local instance of MongoDB server and run the MongoDB shell program to connect uh, to a MongoDB server. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe and then like, comment and share. Thank you.